He's been a part of city council since 2000, but last night Zach Reed was part of the criminal justice system now for the third time. Right now he is out of jail. He was released this afternoon. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin is live on 5 along East 9th and Rockwell where Reed was stopped overnight. And Michael, what did Reed do that caught the attention of the officers? Well, Danita, they say that he stopped. He didn't stop at a red light. They also said he made an improper turn, as you mentioned, right over here at East 9th Street and Rockwell. He spent most of the last 24 hours behind bars. Here he is leaving jail this afternoon, followed by a swarm of reporters. When Reed was stopped about 2 30 this morning, police say he failed a sobriety test. He faces now four charges, including DUI. The others are mainly turning violations. It's unclear if Reed will face jail time with this being his third arrest. His future as a councilman may depend on three things, the law, the people of his ward, or city council members. Its president spoke today to the media. We're waiting for all the facts to come in so we can have an understanding of what occurred last night about 2.30. It's evident that my colleague has some personal issues that we all hope he can overcome. We after having all the facts presented to us, council will deal with this directly. Now, Reed will be back in court tomorrow. Now, according to city council rule number 29, they can expel him if any member for, for any member for quote disorderly conduct or violation of its rules. It will take a two third, a one two thirds vote in order to be able to do that. Uh, again, coming up tonight, we'll look at the history of Zachary's OUI arrest as well. We speak to an addiction specialist. We'll have that coming up a little bit later. We're live here in Cleveland on your side. I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5.